Yo, what is up guys? It is Card Shuffle 99 here today. We're going to show you guys a really cool card trick. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway going on on our channel. We're giving away three pairs of AirPods. So if you guys want to be entered in this giveaway, first of all, make sure to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn those notifications on, which is the bell icon. Make sure to comment at least one time on our YouTube channel. Also, we'll have a link in our description to our Instagram where you got to follow us and also like our posts. And then we also have a link to our Amazon page that will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting anything from Amazon, especially since we're in quarantine. We'll have a link in the description where you guys can check out our Amazon website page. And anyways, guys, we got a really cool card trick for you guys today. Let's get right on into it. Let's go ahead, get into the trick, credit the contracts. Start off the trick, give the deck a little bit of a shuffle, just like that, and maybe one quick cut now we need our spectator to select any card in the deck it doesn't matter what card they select so thanks adam got you three parts all right what we'll do is we'll take your selection place it somewhere into the middle of the deck just like that maybe give the deck a few cuts like that maybe get a, give it a couple couple shuffles just like that and you know what maybe maybe a quick riffle shuffle just like this and we'll lose your card somewhere to the middle of the deck. Now, here's what we're going to do, Adam. We're actually going to get your card to jump up to the top. Just watch. Just watch. It'll wave with the deck. And we can actually get your card to jump to the top. The six of hearts. It's not my card. That's not your card? Well, that also means that the three of hearts also was not your card. And that also means this card right here, the nine of spades, was not your card. Yeah, that's not my card. Really? Yeah. Neither of those were your cards. Actually, one of them was, but... What? It, one it, of it them was. was. One of them was. I'm not going to tell you which one. Well... I'm not going to tell you which one. Well, I, you said no to that one, and you said no to that one, so I think your card must have been the five of diamonds. That's not my card either. That, that's not? Well, if we actually go ahead, we can actually spread the deck out, and we can actually share. There's, there is one face-down card in the deck. Let's go ahead. Take a look. What was your card the three of hearts? Yes, the three of hearts. That is the trick, guys. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this really cool effect. So once again, credit to Con Tricks for this really cool trick. Make sure you check out his channel. And let's go ahead. Let's learn how to do this trick. So you can start off the trick, guys, by shuffling the cards. The cards can be shuffled in any way. It doesn't matter how the cards are shuffled as much as the spectator wants they can shuffle it you can use any deck there's absolutely no setup for this trick which is really cool which is one of the things i do like about this trick so let's go ahead after they shuffle the deck or you shuffle the deck as the magician you can go ahead and have the spectator select any card in the deck so let's go ahead they can select this one. Now, you are not supposed to see it. it was, it's fine because, I mean, you can, but you're not supposed to. It'll, it'll make a little more sense, guys, but it doesn't really matter that much if you see the selection. So let's just go ahead. Let's just do the Eight of Diamonds for the performance. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to control the selection to the bottom of the deck. So there's many ways you guys can do this. I'll show you guys one way I did it in the performance, and I'll show you a variation of it that will also work. So... We'll show you two two ways you guys can do this. Very, very easy both ways. We'll take a little bit of practice. So let's go ahead. You take their selection, the eight of diamonds. You actually put it somewhere into the middle of the deck just like that. And what you're going to do is right before you push it in, the way I did it in the performance was I pushed down on the card. And when you push down on the card and push in at the same time, what will happen is it will create a break right above or right where their selection is. So... Once again, you're going to have their card just slightly out jogged like this, and you're going to be pushing it in. And when you push it in, push down, and you will get a thumb break just like that, which is really cool. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to transfer it to a pinky break while holding it with your thumb also, and you're going to do a double undercut. So what you're going to do is you're going to take about half the cards here, or a version of the undercut. So you're going to take about half the cards, and then you're going to take the rest of the cards until you get to the break and bring that to the top. So what that does is that controls the selection to the top. One more time, what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and push down, take about half cards, 
and then you're gonna take the rest of the cards, including the card where the break is, and you're just gonna control their selection to the top. Now from here, what I did is I just did a overhand shuffle where you just peel off the top card first, then you peel the rest of the cards, just like that. And what that will do is that will control their selection to the bottom of the deck, just like that. Another way you guys can do this is you can go ahead, just to make it a little bit quicker, you can go ahead, instead of pushing down, you're gonna push up on the card, and that will create a break. From here, you do the same exact thing. You're just gonna take half the cards, bring it to the top, and then the rest of the cards, and bring it to the top just like that. And that will control their selection. You can do other false shuffles if you guys want to. And you can just do a riffle shuffle and just make sure you just put a couple cards down so you make sure their card stays completely on the bottom of the deck just like that. So just make sure the selection stays on the bottom of the deck and you just control it there. So that's all you need to do. And from here, let's continue on. So what you're going to do is you're just going to use a little magic wave or something and you're going to wave it and you're going to say, we're going to get your selection to jump to the top. Now make sure the spectator knows their selection very well. Just, you know, mention in the beginning, make sure you remember this. You're going to go ahead, you're going to flip over the top card. It will not be their selection, which is, which is what it's supposed to be. So you're going to go ahead, flip over the top card, say your selection, the six of clubs jump to the top of the deck. You're just going to place it down just like that. And they're going to be like, no, that was absolutely not my card. All right. No, 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 not my card. What you're going to do from here is you're going to go ahead and say, well, if that wasn't your card, that means this card, the Eight of Diamonds, wasn't your card either. Now, what you have to do is you have to go very fast here because if you take too long, what will happen is, is they'll be like, oh, wait, that's my card. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, you can get a break under two cards just like that or just perform any double lift you want. But what you're going to do is you're going to do a double lift, say, would we'll take the Eight of Diamonds place it right there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a double lift so go ahead get your break under two cards you're gonna flip both of the, both of them over and then you're going to do a wrist kill and you're gonna take this top card and do a wrist kill and you're gonna hide this other card while flipping over the deck and place that card right there now it doesn't matter where you place a card on this side or that side it doesn't really matter and then from here just go ahead and take any random card and say this card wasn't your card either. So you're saying all three of these cards were not your card. Now they're gonna stop you. They're gonna be like, wait, well, actually, I saw my card. You know, I, I, I saw my card, right? And they're gonna be like, it was, it was right here. I swear, I swear, I saw my card right here. You're gonna be like, all right, that means your card. And when you're saying this, guys, what you're gonna do is you you have their their actual selection on the bottom of the deck because basically what you did is you did a double lift, and then you um. Place the card there, so you did double lift, right? Take two cards, flip them over. Then you're gonna take that top card while doing a wrist kill, just like that. You're gonna place it there. What you're gonna do is after that, you need to cut the deck, just like that. And that will set up the rest of the trick. So from here, after you cut the deck, you're gonna be like, well, all right, so that's your selection. That means your selection is the queen of clubs. And then you just flip over the rest of the cards. And they're gonna be like, whoa, what, 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 what just happened, right? I saw my selection right here. And, you know, they're going to be wondering, you know, well, well where's my selection? I, I swear, I saw the Eight of Diamonds. That was my selection. I saw I saw you place it down. Well, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the deck, spread the deck out, and you're going to show there's actually one face-down card in the middle of the deck. Now, what you guys can do here, you, do, you guys do have many options of what you can do. First, I would probably take the card out, just like that. And here's what you're going to do. What I like to do sometimes is one option is I like to say, all right, this means your card was, and you're going to say a random card that was not their card. And that, and it can, you know, it's pretty funny, guys. You'll be like, that means your card was the, the nine of spades, right? And they'll be like, wait, no. And then you can just flip it over and show it's actually their selection, the eight of diamonds. Or you could just reveal it normally and just say, well, that means your card is the eight of diamonds. So, guys, you have more, many ways you guys can reveal this so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um yeah after this guys good news is you're left with no evidence and yeah let's go ahead adam all right guys so something i do want to address a little bit especially for all you guys watching this is you know what do you guys want us to bring back to card shuffler 99 so obviously you know a lot of things have been going on lately you know i think a lot of our videos have been you know, a little dry lately, not getting as many views. So, you know, we want to ask you guys, what do you think 
uh, you, what do you guys want really from us? You know, do you guys, uh, you know, we know we mentioned the subscriber contest last year. We never really got to it. Uh, do you guys want us to go back to that si uh, subscriber contest idea? Or what do you guys want us to do, um, you know, in terms of t types of videos, uh, how often you guys want us to post? You know, we want to make the best channel for you guys. Uh, so we want to get back into this. Do you guys want to see more live streams, stuff like that? So anyway, guys, that is it. Let us know down in the comment section. And this is Card Shuffler 99 Peace out.